A colleague reported that she repeatedly had problems with her car's navigation system in a parking lot. The suspicion? Another car with a GPS jammer. So ADFA on the roof and signal sharks set to the GPS frequency. The channel bandwidth is set very wide because jammers often work broadband. Positioning available azimuth correction 0 degree, north reference GNSS, DF quality set to 50% and DF squared just above the noise. The parking lot in the center of the map. The hunt can begin. We approach from the south. From a distance of about 200 meters, the first bearing. Further bearings follow always the same direction. Short pause in the replay. The open red triangle shows us the direction, but not a localization yet. There can be a localization only when the imager is bearing from different directions of the compass, the triangulation. So go on. Now the red triangle ahead starts to fade and the bearings point opposite to the direction of travel. An indication that we have passed the source. The indicated level in the spectrum now also decreases rapidly again. Signal Shark is sure the source is located in the parking lot east of the road. approaching the parking lot. As soon as we approach the parking lot, ADFA and Signal Shark detect the transmitter again and confirm the localization. Object found. We park next to the passenger car with jammer. A look through the side window of the parked car confirms the suspicion. There is something in the cigarette lighter. We can still state the ADFA signal shark combination is sensitive enough to detect a smaller stammer already from a distance of 200 meters. On the other hand, the GSSS of the ADFA works even through we are standing right next to the jammer. Thank you very much for watching. More videos available on our YouTube channel. Bye bye.